Seattle. After Dwight Freeney arrived in Seattle, Frank Clark immediately started soaking up everything that Freeney did. Even the little things like how Freeney prepared for a practice became notes that Clark stored away. It was the kind of preparation the third year defensive end hadn't seen to that extent. His preparation. How long he takes. Practice starts at 2 p.m., he's going to take an hour and a half to get ready for that practice, Clark said. I'm not sure if that's because of his age, I'm not sure if it's because he's 16 years in, but at the end of the day it has something to do with why he's played 16 years. I'm sure it didn't just come overnight. I'm sure it's something he's going to continue to do. Freene doesn't necessarily disagree with what Clark has been noticing. Now, it takes me 45 minutes to do anything, he joked. It's only been three games, but Freene's influence has already been noticed on the field and in his locker room. Freene's fourth game with Seattle will come against a familiar foe when the Seahawks host Atlanta on Monday night. Freene has already passed former teammate Robert Mathis on the all-time sacks list and is one behind Eric Thomas for 16th. Atlanta knows firsthand the kind of boost Freene can provide. It was a year ago the Falcons signed Freene to be their pass rush specialist. He played in 15 regular season games as Atlanta had the best record in the NFC and reached the Super Bowl. Freene had three sacks in the regular season with Atlanta, a number he's already matched with Seattle. Secondary to what he added on the field, Freene became a valued resource for Atlanta coach Dan Quinn simply for his experience as a player. I would see him walking down the hallway looking at his iPad, just watching pass rush, so I was so impressed by the way he approached the game, Quinn said. His preparation, and it really rubbed off on me in a positive way, and the connection with him was really strong. We leaned on him for thoughts and ideas, because he had that type of command of what he was doing. This isn't by accident that at 37 years old Freene is still finding ways to influence what's happening on the field. He's taken exceptional care of his body, to the point of having his own hyperbaric chamber he uses regularly to help in recovery. I lay in there, and I've got my phone, and I've got my film that I'm watching, Freene said. Clearly all the efforts in recovery and preparation are making a difference for Freene. Clark joked the only way to tell that Freene is in his late 30s is to look at the top of his head and see the flecks of gray hair that are starting to move in. Freene still has the ability to rush the passer in a variety of ways, none more famous than his spin move. It's pretty funny that after 16 years, he did the spin move on over 100 different left tackles that it's still able to work, Clark said. It's weird. There's some trick or mastery to it. I don't know it. I'm sure nobody else knows it other than Dwight. There was a hope both from the Falcons and Freene of finding his way back to Atlanta this season. Freene waited, but the phone call never came from the Falcons, and Seattle was in need of additional pass rush help after Cliff Avril was placed on injured reserve due to a neck injury.